Hello. <laughs> Once again, I don't have enough time to be sure how this is going to turn out. That should be my intro. But uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Nikki Schumacher. Probably most of you do know me because this is my Instagram and I'm not like really famous or anything. So I am just here to share what I know about politics with the Idaho housewives. Hello, Hannah, Lynn. Um, just touching base on Idaho politics today because a lot is happening. A lot of people have announced that they are running in the primaries for governor here, which here that basically just means the Republican primaries because <clears throat> no one, no Democrats could ever win, which means that Democrats run as a Republican because that's the only way. How are you today? Um, so we have had a lot of exciting, <laughs> I guess that's the right word. I have to get ready while I'm on here and I do apologize for the filter. I don't feel bad about the filter. Um, I'm a 40 year old lady. So, um, I do have to get ready cause I have some big stuff happening today for our family. But basically, um, Janice McGeechan has announced that she is running for Idaho governor. Hello, Mrs. Zupka. And um, while Brad Little was out of town the last couple of days at like a governor's convention, she was the acting governor. She's a lieutenant governor, so she was the governor while he was gone. And she did what he she undid what he never should have done. She made an, an executive order to ban mask mandates from political subdivisions. So that would mean schools, courthouses. Um, you know, a lot of my friends got arrested this year by going to the courthouse on their court date, on their court date, going to the courthouse on their court date, and not being let in, but standing there in, on the steps of the courthouse, not being let in because they weren't wearing a mask because it's against their beliefs or their health restrictions or whatever. And then the Boise Police Department coming out and arresting them for failure to appear and taking them, guess where? Into the courthouse that they weren't allowed into without a mask. It's, it makes no sense. So. When she did that, I was really hopeful. I don't know, part of me was hopeful that, oh yay, they'll finally get to do their court appearances without fail without these failure to appear arrests that are just silly. Um, but of course, Tyrant Little, Brad, 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 boys. Do you guys remember that song, Bad Boys? Okay, I was born in 1981, so I don't know. Um, Brad Little. He came back and um, rescinded her order the moment he got back into town. Well, I shouldn't say the moment, pretty quickly, within a day. He just put it back to the way it was. This is one of the most conservative states. To It is the most conservative state, the only state this conservative, the only state with a Republican governor that still has mask mandates in um, <laughs> thanks Nikki. <laughs> Appreciate it. That means a lot. Yeah, this is the only one. So he rescinded that and all the conservatives are in an uproar. I think it was a lot of us when Janice did this, we really thought it was a campaign move. I'm not just, I don't, I'm not mad about it. A campaign move for her to, um, you know, get the exposure and to show Brad Little's true colors because honestly, he is a Democrat who ran as a Republican. This is what they have to do in Idaho because we don't have, um, we're, you know, I'm not like a big Trump fan. If you are, I love you very much, but 70% of Idaho voted for Trump. Okay, so there's no way any Democrat is ever gonna run. Well, Brad Little is a Democrat. The Democrats of Idaho, like the group, the official group, Democrats of Idaho, posted on their social media how thankful they were and how supportive they are of Brad Little. Like he has the support of the Democrats. He always has. They've always been buddy-buddy. So 
I don't know if he's just going to take his China money and run because he doesn't think that he could get voted in again because literally we are all ticked at him. We are so ticked. And I apologize, like I'm getting ready while I'm talking about important stuff. But I am a housewife, homemaker, homeschool. I homeschool three children and I'm pregnant, y'all. So I would love to uh, have the time to just like sit and be awesome, but I don't. <laughs> but anyway, here's the thing. You guys need to educate yourselves on people running. We have a year till the primaries. And right now, people are starting to announce that they're running for different things for... Um, for legislation, for governor, for lieutenant governor. I am still learning too. I, you know, the last couple of years I was completely sidelined realizing that Idaho, which is like, in my opinion, it is like, as far as the people here, it's the most conservative place in America. Like it's equal to or more conservative than, conservative than Florida. Everyone's like, oh, Florida is so awesome. It is awesome. I used to live in Florida actually, but raw milk is illegal there homeschooling here in Idaho, you don't have to like report anything. It's just, you're free to educate your kids. It's none of the government's, it's none of the government's business. In Florida, you have to do some reporting and it's a pretty free state. It's a very, very free state. But I'm just saying, as far as the culture of Idaho, we're very conservative, but we have almost all Democrats um, in, in office, you know? Um, it's probably like 90% rhinos. And, um, you know, when they have public endorsements from the Democratic Party in Idaho, and, you know, that really shows their true colors. So I think Janice did a fabulous job showing his true colors. And right now is the time, no matter what state you're in, to be paying attention to who's announcing they're running. Um, to, follow, to start following that. Your local politics really changes the lives of your children. And, and it matters. You know, that's the reason, you know, kids in Florida got to have their last days of school without masks. Kids here, it depends on what, lo what school district they're in. You know, if they're in West Ada, um, yeah, if they're in West Ada or Boise School District, they had to wear masks. Um, they were getting sent to the office. And um, I really do want to look nice today, so I hope I can pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, there was kids sent to the office getting in trouble. And, um, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. And so, he, you know, these people that want the school district to have more authority over your children than you do, that is just sad. You know, that's just really, really sad. And that's what Janice was doing, was trying to put the power back into the people. But um, Brad Little wanted to give the power back to the liberal school boards. And that's the other thing. All the school boards are run by liberals, which is fine if you're liberal and you vote them in. But that's, you know, people are asleep at the wheel. So really, really pay attention right now. And the best thing that I have found to know and to feel good about who I'm voting for is to stock their Facebook pages and their social media. And you can ask them questions and you can engage and see how they respond. You know, when I, um, I have disagreed with Janice on things, you know, and I've posted it on her um, social media and I've never gotten a rude response back. I've gotten some responses back, but I've never gotten a rude one. Um, I, went to Ed Humphrey's page and I was like, dude, you're splitting the vote. I don't think you should be running. He, and other people said he was calling people silly. No one likes you. You're a critic. You know, it's just really petty stuff. Yeah, just really, really petty. Um, he's 30 years old. I was saying he was 29. Um, and then he corrected me. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was a year off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway whatever. So then the other person that announced that they're running for lieutenant governor is Bedke. And, um, you know, the last couple of years I am learning right alongside you guys. Why did that light turn off? I don't even know. So Bedke and he's a rhino and, and Priscilla Giddings, and she is freedom, freedom minded. And so my 
pick for Lieutenant Governor is Priscilla Giddings. I will miss Janice as Lieutenant Governor. She has really stood in the line of tyranny for us. Um, Lit Brad Little, you know, when all of this stuff happened, he started making, ma doing things, making orders. He didn't call any legislators. He did not meet with any of them um, to make decisions. He just started doing whatever he wants. Then yesterday, when he changes her order back, he's he says that she used an abuse of power. An abuse of power to give people back their freedom? That is some verbal tango right there. That is mental gymnastics. I mean, I don't know how he sleeps at night, to tell you the truth. Um, so, Bedke is completely a rhino. Um, he has been known that when he got in position, I mean, he's a legislator in, in, in Idaho. He has been known to, as soon as he gets into a position, to just, like fire everyone who didn't vote for the vote for him so um he's not not good and um i am one that believes the bible and um the last year has been the biggest pile of mental gymnastics and gaslighting yeah well see the weird thing is we live in idaho and our politicians are acting like we're oregon washington or california so i'm really proud of idaho because the Idaho could have completely gone the way of Oregon or California. The only thing different about Idaho is that the people did not stand for it. We, I, we didn't put up with it. We showed up. And that's the only difference is when people show up to legislation, show up to the health district, show up to the school board meetings, and um, it held back. It held back the line. And then a lot of people who think they're conservative but don't really know why, on principle, they don't really know why, um, just kind of sat around and, oh, she shouldn't have been on the bark chips at the park. Um, it's her fault she got arrested. Well, the, the people getting arrested for the little things like n taking their kids to the park or not wearing a mask to the courthouse, that is the reason that we don't have our pastors getting arrested for holding church like they do in Canada. That is the only difference. Now, um, the small town police in Idaho, a lot of them are amazing. But unfortunately, Idaho State Police is corrupt. Boise State Police, they've hired a, um, the mayor there hired a liberal police chief. And so it's completely corrupt. Um, they just stand around. I'm sorry if you're a police officer and you're just standing around watching people get arrested for not nothing, I'm sorry, you're not doing the right thing. You're a brown shirt, just like Nazi Germany. If you're standing around watching a pastor get arrested, doo -doo -doo, um, and just still a part of that system, I don't, I have lost all respect. But I live in small town Idaho. We've had, you know, that's like, like I said, your local politics matters because our police chief is, is like-minded. I, I guess you could say he won't um, he won't enforce you know if a business is like calling the police on someone for no mask he might have officers show up and talk to them but they're not going to get arrested and um, that's just the small town I live in and it everything rises and falls I'm sorry that Washington sucks so bad and you know my husband grew up there and loved it like loved it uh, I need some color on my face. You guys are seeing through a filter. That's not what I really look like today. But, um, yeah, that's the main point. And I guess this goes for everyone is just really pay attention to your local politics and show up if you can. I wonder if Coco Melon is still going out there. Oh, yeah, it is. I hear it. Um... Yeah, you have to, why is this light turning off? Do you guys, is the, are you able to see fine? I don't know. Um, show up if you can. We are in a bad spot because here's the thing. The Bible says women will rule over them and that is a judgment from God. Now, I don't think it's wrong for a woman to run. I just think it's sad 
and I'm a very um, tradition, I believe in like biblical gender roles. Um, I think that it is sad that a woman has to run, um, that the best person in the be the most qualified person to run is Priscilla Giddings for Lieutenant Governor and Janice McGeechan for governor. They are the most qualified. And that's really sad that that's where the state of our society is. Um, and you remember Deborah in Judges when she was asked to go to war with um, the general, whatever his name was. And yeah, I have a Bible degree, but it's early y'all. She said, you know what? You are not gonna get any glory from this because you asked a woman to do it. And, um, and that is unfortunate that the one that has the notoriety, the experience, the track record to lead our state is a woman. And I love that she is an older woman. She has a lot of wisdom. Um, but it's just too bad that Brad Little couldn't have um, acted like a man and uh, done the right thing in this situation. Now, it's not the like it's not wrong for women to run. I want to be clear about that. A lot of my friends um, have gotten that twisted. They were like, "Oh, women will rule over them. That's a that's a judgment. So it's wrong for the woman to run." No, I mean when you see Brad Little running the state into the ground and trying to turn it into California, when we're seventy percent conservative. If you can do something, do it. You know, Deborah wasn't like, well, sorry, I'm a woman, I can't do it. She was like, yeah, I'll do it, but it's it's too bad that you had to ask a woman to do this because that's not really our heart to rule over people. Our heart is to nurture and, um, and that is really when society is the most fruitful and healthy is when we can flourish in our God-given roles. But, you know, sometimes in this fallen world, you got to do what you got to do. And that's my opinion on that. Take it or leave it. So that's pretty much it. I'm not supposed to be talking about politics right now because, hello, mark my word. I'm not supposed to be talking about politics right now because um, I am competing in Idaho Talent Fest. I hate niching down. I hate it. I'm competing in Idaho Talent Fest, and so I'm supposed to be asking you guys to go to the link in my bio and vote for me. And if um, if I make it to the finals in voting, I'll get to sing live later this summer. I think at the Nampa Civic Center or something. Hello, Brooke. And so that would be really, really fun. I would just love to get back into performing again, and I would have... Let's see, I'm six months pregnant right now, so I'd be like seven or eight months pregnant when that performance happened. And totally out of breath singing on stage, but that would be fun. I did it, I've done it before. So if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, that would be, I mean, if you wanna listen to my music first and see if you, in good conscience, think I deserve to make it to the finals, that would mean a lot to me. And that is probably what I should be focusing on because the voting closes on the 30th or the 31st. There's only like two more days. But no, I get on here and talk about politics. Yes, stock them all on Facebook. <clears throat> if they have no track record, that's your answer. That is your answer. If they have no track record, that is Ed Humphreys deleted his Facebook and his wife deleted her Facebook. So you have no way to know if they've ever said anything like not freedom minded you just have the words that they're saying right now, which are just words, you know, words mean nothing. They just are words. So anyway, that is all. I'm gonna let you guys go and finish getting ready for the big day that we're having here. Love you guys. I hope you're healthy and free. And yeah, I hope you have peace and joy in your heart today. Bye.